Hey guys, it's Luke here. Um, so I've got the pleasure of taking you through the performance premium pack. So I hope you're as excited as I am now that the box is here. As you can see, there's a lot of products in front of you. It's great because this pack is full of nutrients, energy boosters, uh, high quality protein for optimal performance, but also for your optimal recovery. Um, it takes into account ideal nutrient timing uh, along with the research back recommended doses. So it's gonna be great in the fact that it's gonna cover your pre, your intra, your during, and your post-workout. It's also gonna cover you on non-training days and on your cleanse days. So it's gonna have all the bases covered and you can't go wrong with a pack like this, with isogenics in general. Um, first thing you've got is I want you to have a guide. Get that out in front of you. You might've had a hard copy, you might've had it electronically sent to you by your online sponsor or your coach. If you haven't, hit them up for it. Um, but I want you to have a look on page five. So that's the first one I want you to look at. It's got a table, it's got a tracking page. As we all know with performance, tracking is paramount. You want to be keeping um, um, on top of your performance, on top of your output, so you know where you might be going wrong, where you might be going right, if you need to alter things, change things. So definitely very important. Maybe even consider speaking to your coach about it. It might be worth, depending on your goals, maybe looking at taking some measurements based on sort of circumferences, weight, things like that if your goals are more tailored towards uh, developing some lean muscle or losing weight, things like that. Um, also on page six and seven, there's gonna be some, um, oh, actually, sorry, six and seven is your product. So you're gonna have information on each of the products here in front of you. So if you forget anything from this video, you can easily go back and touch base on it. Uh, page 13 has some um, frequently asked questions that might be worth checking out then before you go hitting up your enrolling sponsor or your coach. Um, and page 14 has some of the great accountability and development tools that Isogenics um, has to offer for you to use throughout, not just your first month, but ongoing throughout your Isogenics journey. So these are great, whether it be the Isobody Challenge, our 16 week or some challenge that has some amazing prizes, um, even some benefits of just completing the $200 worth of products. Um, also the healthy mind and body because we all know with performance mental aspect can be paramount and can play such an important um, role in your output and in your performance so healthy mind and body program is something great to look into as well um, before I go any further I can't stress that what I'm about to go through with you here and also the guidelines that are in your guide are guides it's a guideline it's going to be different for each person depending on what your goals are whether maybe you're training for a power and strength based activity, you might be training for endurance events, trying to just simply build lean muscle. You might just be that weekend warrior, that everyday active person that wants to get the bet most out of their F45 training or their local CrossFit box or uh, playing sport on the weekend. So it's going to depend on each person. Um, it's going to be individualized. So this is a guideline. Um, the best part about this system and any isogenic system is that it can be tailored. Uh, made it can be incorporated into your lifestyle and that's the best thing about this and why it's so convenient and so easy to follow because the best diet anyone can follow that for whether it be performance or not is one that they're going to stick to there's no point of having the best diet in the world if it's not something sustainable and something you're not going to stick to um, so hopefully by the end of this video you'll feel more confident with the products that are here how to use them when to use them and things like that so as you heard me say before and i'm sure you've heard other people say you've got two types of days um, on any isogenic system, you've got your shake days and also your cleanse days. So initially, I just want to go through what a typical shake day might look like, um, and we can move forward from there. So a typical shake day, what I want you to get into the habit of doing, and do this on cleanse days as well, first thing when you get out of bed, have a glass of water, have at least one, maybe two glasses of water. It's a great habit to get into, um, just to sort of get used to having some water first thing in the morning, whether you're someone like add some apple cider vinegar, some lemon juice. I like to add lime juice, some Himalayan salt, some sort of colored salt. Um, get into a habit of doing that. Once you've had your glasses of water, the first thing you're gonna be looking to grab is your Ionic Supreme. So you might have it in liquid version, or you might have it in a powdered version. I have this as well because it's great for when you're traveling. Obviously you can't take this because you don't have a fridge with you at all times. So um, Ionic Supreme, so this is our, like, our go-go juice. This is, um, our liquid that is full of adaptogenic herbs. Um, it's also got uh, minerals, trace minerals, vitamins, all those sort of things you need for optimal performance and recovery. But those adaptogenic herbs, they're the ones that are going to um, allow your body to adapt to stress. They're gonna do what they say. Um, they're gonna allow your body to adapt to stress. So if you're having them in the morning, it's gonna help you get moving quicker. 
um, whether it be your body doesn't know the difference between physical or mental stress, emotional stress, so it's going to help with that. Some people like to have this just before going to bed as well because of that, because of those adaptogenic curves, those adaptogens, it's going to allow your body to go to sleep better and have a better night's sleep, less restless sleep. So that is another option. So that's you're going to be, you're going to have your glass of water. Your first thing is going to be your ionic supreme first thing in the morning. From there, you're going to go to your breakfast. So breakfast, we're going to be substituting in breakfast for an isolene pro shake. So you've got four boxes here, whether it's vanilla or chocolate. Um, easiest way to do this, if you've got your blender on hand, use it. It makes it so much better in my opinion. Chuck in some ice, chuck in some water. The amount of water depends on what you want. If you want it quite thick, I sometimes make them into smoothie bowls, things like that. Um, I like them quite thick. Other people like to dilute them quite a lot. So as much water as you want. Depending on your goals and your calorie intake for the day, you might be looking to add some coconut water, almond milk, things like that as well. So um, that's going to be your first thing you have sort of to eat as such in the day. Um, do try and have them within 15 minutes of making the shakes because of those bioactive live enzymes we've got in our shakes that most other shakes on the market are not going to have. Um, you want to have them within 15 minutes to get the full effect um, so that those enzymes can go to work and help with the absorption so that you are almost absorbing 90 to 100% of your protein, unlike some other supplements where you're not going to get that full absorption, which is what makes our isogenic shakes so much better than a lot of the others. So, um, <coughs> pardon me. From there, you're going to have your first snack. So your first snack of the day, whether it's mid-morning, depending on your um, diet and your sort of training regime and your day, it might be mid-morning, might not. But your first snack of the day, you've got whole food options. So you're going to be looking for things like whole eggs, um, sorry, boiled eggs, whole eggs, boiled eggs, uh, rice cakes, rabbitas, uh, salmon, tuna, um, vegetable sticks and hummus, those little chobani dips are awesome as well. Um, You'll know what's a healthy snack. If you don't speak to your Ryan sponsor, get onto your cleanse support page. There's plenty of ideas, so many ideas for whole food snacks. Um, your calorie, the size of your snacks going to depend on your caloric intake for the day and your goals as well. If you were someone that might have bought bars, so isolate bars or weight thins, they're perfect for a first snack of the day as well. Your third meal of the day is going to be your lunch. So if you're replacing two main meals with shakes, You've got the option to have a second shake now, which if you don't have your blender on hand, you can definitely use in your shaker. I've got my cleanse for life in here at the moment. But you can use a shaker also um, or use your blender with ice. So you're going to have the option of having your second shake now or you might want to have your knife and fork meal now and save your second shake for dinner. Also, if you're someone that's only replacing one main meal and one snack a day, you're definitely going to be having a knife and fork meal here. So... Um, again, depends on your calories for the day, depends on your goals, but you're going to be wanting to get in a good serve of protein, some vegetables, try and mix up the colours, different colour vegetables have different um, nutrients, vitamins in them, different minerals. So um, you're going to go for your protein, your veggies, um, carbohydrates, uh, looking at ideally going for low GI carbohydrates. So things like your sweet potato, your brown rice, your quinoa, things like that are perfect. And you want to get some... Uh, form of good fat. So whether that's avocados, olive oils, coconut oils, seeds, nuts, anything like that. Um, after this, you're going to have your second snack of the day. So now this is going to be very similar to what I said for the first. You've got those isogenics options, but you've also got all your whole food snacks. Uh, if you're someone that's replacing one, one, meal, one main meal and one snack a day, this is when you're going to have the option of having your second shake. So you can chuck on your second shake as that afternoon snack. So I've got to fly in here from waving around. Um, after your second snacks, your fifth, so we're only for minimum of five meals a day. You'll see that in your guide. Um, your fifth meal is going to be your dinner. So if you're having two main meals uh, with shakes and you had an off and fork for lunch, you're going to have that shake now. If you've already had two shakes, you're going to be going to your off and fork, vice versa. If you're only replacing one main meal, you're going to be having your off and fork meal again. Same guidelines as what we said at lunchtime. Um, all of those, yeah. You know what it is. Speak to your enrolling sponsor or um, your coach or hit up your clan support group if you need, if you're struggling for ideas. Only other option I would say on a normal shake day is now your Isopro. So your Isopro is very similar to your Isoline Pro, except for it's without the carbs, without the fats. So it's got less than three grams of carbs in there. Um, perfect to have just before you go to bed. Um, a lot of people know the benefits of having protein before bed, before resting. Um, helps with muscle recovery increases metabolism, things like that. Um, so that's your normal shake day without any training. Um, on a training day, this is when we're going to start looking at bringing some of the more performance um, 
range products. Uh, so um, you've also got other uses for your Isopro. So on training days, you might look to use your Isopro with your mid-morning or your mid-afternoon snack. If you know you're not getting enough protein with whatever your snack options are, you can definitely chuck in that. You can also use your Isopro as a post-workout. So post-workout shake it can be um, also great for that. Um, <coughs> pardon me. So again, with the performance range of products here, it's a guideline, like I said before, what works for one person might not definitely work for another. So play around with it. In my, uh, my suggestion would be, and I know this is in keeping with a number of other strength and conditioning coaches within the isogenic community, would be to maybe just try one of the amp range or one of the performance products at a time, implement them in one at a time. Or if you're going to start with the whole complement, remove one at a time or only change one at a time. That way you get to know exactly what effect that product was having um, and how it's sort of best working for you, what works best for you. You're going to become more in tune with your body, which is what you want for optimal performance. And we're going to get that performance and that recovery by playing around with seeing what works best for you. Um, so the first one I'm going to speak about is Ant Power. You're going to want to take this 15 to 30 minutes before a workout. It's a pre-workout, um, not pre-workout in the sense of those sort of work pre-workouts that give you the jitters and lots of energy and things like that. It's full of uh, creatine, L-carnitine and glycine. Creatine is going to be what gives you a greater source of energy prior to the workout. So you're going to have, um, get, that creatine is going to allow you to sort of have a greater source of energy to uh, sort of um, take from, but also it's going to replace, sort of, uh, replace that energy quicker. So ATP being the building blocks and sort of the basis of all energy in the human body and in our cells. Um, ATP is going to be used up very quickly in high intensity events. Um, any sort of training like that that's using high intensity power, strength, anything like that, it's going to use your ATP. So by having your in power, it's going to allow you to replace that ATP quicker and you're going to have more ATP to call on. So you're going to sort of perform at a higher and greater um, intensity. And NOX is our second pre workout that I'll talk about. That's the second option here. Um, usually targeted at more sort of yeah, an endurance athlete, but a lot of power athletes, a lot of everyday athletes are loving using NOX as well. It's also great for everyday life and health um, benefits because of what's inside. So uh, NOX, very sh briefly, it's full of nitrates from vegetables and fruits. Um, nitrates, when ingested, they're going to help with the production of nitric oxide, which is going to work as a vasodilator. So it's going to dilate, um, open up your blood vessels. Um, your blood is taking oxygen, taking energy to your muscles. The more oxygen and energy you can get to your muscles, the better. It's also going to take, your blood is taking the crap, taking the byproducts of exercise out of your muscles. So think of it as working normally, you've got a one lane um, highway, taking cars, taking the energy to your muscles, taking the bad stuff away from the muscles. By advisor, by taking the um, amp knocks, you're going to turn that into a three-lane car highway. So you're going to be shoving so much more energy down there. You're going to be getting rid of the products quicker. You're going to put off that fatigue. You're going to reduce um, the onset of fatigue. You're going to optimise your performance for longer. And you're going to be working at those higher intensities for longer. So that's the great benefit of NOX also for that reason. Getting more oxygen, getting more blood to your brain, your muscles, anything like that. And also can be a great thing for everyday general health as well. Um, next, we're going to during your workout. So during your workout, you're going to have your box of replenish here. You might have had the lemon lime or the orange. It's just like a healthy Gatorade, like a Hydro Lime, um, full of your B and C vitamins, full of electrolytes. It's great for when you're sweating. If you're maybe not feeling too great, you're a bit sick, it can also be a good option there. Um, uh, Post-workout. Um, as mentioned before, you can have your Isopro, you can even have your Isoline Pro as a post that can be a great one, depending on your goals, you might want to, your coach and your eye sponsor might think it's better to be getting some more carbs and fats post-workout, so that can be a great option. But your other option post-workout is your Amped Recover. So your Amped Recover is going to be post-workout. Um, you're going to be wanting to have that immediately post-workout because that's full of your branch chain amino acids. They're the things that are going to um, they're the building blocks for all muscles. They're the basis of all protein. They are going to um, sort of prevent the breakdown of muscle and help with the very building of muscle. So definitely take them straight afterwards. Um, I will just mention you as well with the knocks. I didn't say that one is something you're wanting to take uh, a lot earlier than your amp power as a pre-workout. So your amp knocks is something that the not, um, nitric oxide is production is going to be there for 24 hours after taking. So if you're going to be working first thing in the morning, have that. 
Um, you could even have that the night before going to bed. Um, if you're going to be working out during the day later, at least two to three hours before is when you're going to get your optimal production of nitric oxide. Um, better um, improvement from using your NOx. Um, so we've touched on recover can be used after. Recover can be very in individualized. You can also use it during a workout or before a workout. So just, this is where it comes into seeing what works best for you. I know I personally like using my branch chain amino acids during a workout. So it's already in there. It's already preventing that muscle breakdown. Um, E-shots are another one that can be used with our performance range. So you've got your E-shots here, similar to the NOx, they come in sort of little shot size um, bottles, you know, one or two mouthfuls. Um, they are caffeinated, a healthy caffeinated drink, probably about the same amount as one cup of coffee. Um, comes from green tea extract of the yerba mate plant, so it's a healthy energy shot. It's not going to be like coffee or those energy drinks where you get a buzz um, and you get a, get a crash afterwards. It's going to sort of help sort of a very even level of energy going to keep you going. It also does have some of those adaptogens that we spoke about in the um, Ionic Supreme. So it can help your body deal with stress as well. So that can be a great pre-workout drink if you're someone that likes training on caffeine, or it can be a great pick-me-up during a cleanse day, during a shake day, um, just in general when you sort of might have gone for a coffee or a um, sugary drink or something. That's a great option. Um, you can also, because of those adaptogenic herbs and adapting to stress, you can also use your ionics post-workout. Some people love using it post-workout. Some people love using it du uh, during or before a workout as well. So you've got that option as well. Um, from speaking to the doctors after celebration event and things that I've heard recently, do not um, sort of mix your e-shocks and your uh, ionic supreme. They've both got those um, adaptogens and botanicals, so you don't want to be having them within sort of an hour of each other. So one or the other. Uh, the last two products I haven't touched on yet are uh, your ionics, I mean, so not your ionics, your isogenic snacks and your cleanse for life, which I accidentally put away after I just made that drink before. So you've got your cleanse for life. Um, this is sort of the basis of your cleanse day. So on a performance premium pack, You've got the option of a, a deep cleanse or a soft cleanse. Soft cleanse being more like a everyday cleanse. So you'd be having one scoop of your cleanse for life um, each day. You've, of course, we've only got one tub of this in this pack. You've probably only got enough for every second day. Speak to your sponsor, speak to your coach about it. But um, I'd be looking at having it, like it says in your guide here, probably first thing in the morning every second day. Um, you want to have it on an empty stomach or between meals. Um, can have it before you go to bed. Obviously, when you're sleeping, you're fasting at night, um, your body's cleansing uh, then as well, so you can have it before bed. Um, the other option for cleanse days is a deep cleanse. So if you're doing a deep cleanse, instead of one cleanse every day, a deep cleanse is going to be something that you do um, either, because you, again, you've got one time, you're going to either do a one-day cleanse fortnightly or maybe you'll do a double cleanse monthly. Um, what that's going to mean is you're going to have four cleanse for life drinks, which are going to consist of two scoops mixed in with water. Um, you're going to have that four times throughout the day, evenly spread out throughout the day. Um, mix it with as much water as you want. You can put it in a big one or two liter bottle, sip on it for a while. You can have it in a small amount and sort of drink it nice and quickly. Um, so you're going to do that four times throughout the day. You're going to sort of mix and match that with at least three snacks on a cleanse day. So your snacks being, um, normally will be your ISA snacks. We did touch on before that you can use your e-shots on a cleanse day as a snack option. You can also use your replenish on a cleanse day, so that's another great option. Probably half a stick is one serve. Um, you can, if you've been lucky enough, you might have been set up now on your first pack here with some ISA delights. ISA delights are amazing on cleanse days. Um, one ISA delight being a snack, but not multiple ISA delights. So, um, that's another option. Weigh thins if you've got them, again, one or two of them at a time on a whole pack are a great option as well for cleanse day. So um, an example of a cleanse day might be you've got your four cleanse for life drinks. You wake up in the morning, you have your glass of water, you have your Ionic Supreme shot. Um, not long later, you're having your first cleanse for life drink. Um, as I said, breaking up by at least an hour. So every hour or two, you're having something. So maybe an hour or two down the track, you're having two ice of snacks, um, then an hour or two later, you're having your second cleanse for life drink. Another hour or two has passed. Uh, before you, you want to keep on top of things. So before you're feeling a bit peckish, you're having maybe just one ice snack this time. Um, and then you're having your e-shot because you felt like you're getting a little bit sluggish possibly. 
Um, you then, another hour or two, you're going to have your third Cleanse for Life drink. Um, it's sort of coming to sort of maybe mid-arvo, early mid-arvo now. A um, couple of hours have gone. You're going to be having your third, um, at least third snack by now. So again, it can be one to two ice snacks. It could be um, some replenish. It could have been one of the ice delights if you had them. And then around dinner time and before resting and going to bed, you're going to have your fourth cleanse for life drink. So another one, another lot of two scoops mixed in with your water. Um, so that's a deep cleanse day, an example of a deep cleanse day. Obviously, if you're doing a double, you just repeat that on a second day. But definitely speak to your online sponsor um, and liaise with other people on your cleanse support pages on Facebook, which we should all be on. Um, that's an example of your cleanse days. I've gone through some shake days, the so way you can uh, sort of alter your pre, intro and post workout options. I hope this has helped, guys. Um, I hope you're, as I said, as excited as I am. Um, I really can't wait to see some great transformations, some uh, awesome increases in performance popping up on our, on our Facebook pages. Um, so if you have any questions, please contact your enrolling sponsor. Don't be afraid to get in touch with myself. Um, but yeah, go ahead, go forward, enjoy it, guys. It's a lifestyle change. It's not a quick fix. This is going to be something that's going to be beneficial long term for you, um, for your performance and for your health. So peace out. Thanks for listening today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.